Well, hello, and welcome to my latest video. It's been a few days since I've made a video. What have I been up to? Well, I've been on Zwift a lot, yes. I've been thrashing the turbo, as many of you have been during lockdown. And you will be familiar with some of the big names in the turboing world. And I'm thinking in particular of uh, tax and especially Wahoo. Uh, you may know that the Wahoo makes the kicker, one of the finest turbo trainers ever made. One of the first smart turbo trainers. I used to have one, uh, sold it, and I've now got a Watt bike. And if you want to see a link to a video about a Watt bike, uh, you won't find it where I just pointed. I'm a big fan of the turbo and a big fan of Zwift and Zwift and Wahoo in particular are big fans of me and they sent me an email the other day and they said we're not going to give this to DC Llama and GP Rainmaker they said they're not going to be the first to tell you about our big new release the Wahoo people said they said we want you Julian and all your viewers to be the first to release this great news to the world. And what is this work? What is this news, you may ask? Well, Wahoo are making a road bike. Yes, they're moving away from the turbo world. Well, they're not moving away from the turbo world, but they've decided there is a market, would you believe it? There is a market for a few, a few diehard back in the day vintage stalwarts who still still like to ride on the road so they thought well why don't we satisfy that audience and build a road bike so Wahoo are going to be releasing a road bike in the latter part of 2021 now I haven't got uh, an actual bike to show you because it's still in the fairly early design stages but what I have got is an artist's model and yes here is the artist model. This is, uh, uh, this is what they call um, an artist's impression. It's a bit more than an artist's impression. This is probably very close to what the final bike is going to look like. And it's got a couple of things uh, that Wahoo have brought across from the, the turbo world, the Zwift world. And one of the first things is, look, it's got wheels. Now you will know if you go on uh, Zwift, you go on the turbo well, you don't need wheels because you're not actually going anywhere so what with what wahoo thought was if you had one of our bikes uh, it's called a book by the way you'll notice that uh, or you'll be familiar with the fact that wahoo like to release uh, words like tick tick and element where they miss out vowels so the name that they've chosen for their uh, conveyance is book which is bke which is obviously bike but without the i it's a little difficult to get your tongue around but with a bit of practice it'll soon become the de facto word for that two-wheeled form of transport so anyway it's got these things which are called wheels and the thing about wheels is once you go on the ground and we're going to pretend that this is the ground here the wheels go round and you actually go places so you're not you're not stuck in your garage you're not stuck in your study like i am you're not stuck in your loft apartment as some of those people on peloton are you're actually released into the open air and you can ride on the road so that's quite a clever invention the next thing they've decided to include and you may have seen this on some of the uh, uh, some of the indoor turbos that you use and it's called it's called, it's called a chain but the chain instead of turning a kind of magnetized or, or air driven or water driven wheel inside your turbo the chain actually turns the wheel so when you get on the book and you go outside into the open air and you turn these pedals which you're familiar you'll be familiar with pedals because you've used them when you've been on swift you turn the pedals you actually go places yes instead of going from a to a in your garage you can actually go from a to b or a to c or a to d or a to e or a to f or a to g or a to h other letters of the alphabet are available 
if you want to go that far so the chain and the pedals that's a really clever design the next thing that they've decided to introduce and this has not been seen on an outdoor bike before which is one reason why they're calling it a book and not a bike and that's these things and these things are called handlebars now you'll know once you get on uh, Zwift and you're on your Wahoo you're on your quick kicker you've got these things called handlebars and you rest your hands on the handlebars but you don't do anything else with them these handlebars right, and, and Wahoo who have been really clever here what these do is they turn the wheel can you imagine that so if you if you move the handlebars you can go to the right or you can go to the left so if you come to uh, like a fork in the road as we all do in, in our lives at some point or other you can decide to take the, the left for you can, you can take the right for you or you can do as I do with my like, famous sayings when you come to a fork in the road take it so there you are the handlebars that's a very clever invention on the part of uh, Wahoo and the next thing that they've got is uh, you may you may have one of these on your own bike you may even have a watt bike with this on it but this is slightly different this is what they call a siddle right it's not a saddle they call it a siddle and you get on the siddle and you and you sit and you puddle on your book so you on your siddle and you turn your puddles and that's how you move your book right so it's all very clever stuff it's very, it's very difficult to say particularly if you've got any kind of you know speech difficulty but then the wahoo people they're not overly concerned about that what they're concerned about is selling you the great latest outdoor invention the book and the other thing they've decided is, is you will know when you're on your wahoo and you're on zwift you're, you're looking at a screen uh, you might be looking at a computer screen you might be looking at apple tv you might be looking at your ipad you might even be looking at your iphone and that's where you see the various worlds the the, the watopia or the, the london and surrey or new york or innsbruck all the other worlds that there are in uh, uh, zwift and that, of course let's not forget that there are plenty of other types of uh, computer generation, uh, computer generated programs that you can use to ride your bike on, like um, uh, Full Gas uh, or Trainer Road or Sufferfest or Ruby or RGT. There are lots of them, but but Zwift is probably one of the most popular ones. So you have all these various uh, apps or programs set up on your screen. And you ride your Wahoo in the world of Zwift or Full Gas or whatever it is, and you look at the screen and you see scenery, often CGI generated scenery. Well, what the clever people at Wahoo have done, they said, well, let's do away with the screen, right? I mean, this is revolutionary. So you can see there is no, there is no stand here on which to put a screen there is nowhere at the front of the book where you can put your your music stand or your your table your 199 pound uh, wahoo table on which you would rest your laptop or your ipad or com your computer or whatever it is so what the wahoo people have decided right is if they get rid of that screen then you can use your eyes and you can see real world scenery. I mean, that, 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 amazing, isn't it? I was absolutely smack gobbed, gobsmacked. I mean, I was gobsmacked when I found this out. So you can see, you can see real trees, you can see real roads, you can see grass, you can see pavement, you can see dog shit, you can see BMWs before they try and run you over. You've got the whole gamut of the outer world experience or what we call in real life so no longer restricted to those bloody pixels on your computer screen no you can see the sky and the stars and the clouds and the sun and the birds singing as you ride your book turning your pools while you sit on your stool through the glorious world that we live in so You'll be able to buy the Wahoo book uh, later in the year, perhaps early next year. Uh, it's going to be uh, £9,999, uh, all the same in euros, all the same in dollars. Uh, if you import it from uh, Europe, you're going to have to pay £499, import duty, customs duty, tax and VAT. Uh, if you import it from the US, you're going to pay the same amount. And if you buy it in Britain, uh, you're going to have to pay an additional £499. 
£29 pounds in customs duty import VAT just so there's got there's like a level playing field so this as I said this may not be the final design of the book this is still a uh, uh, an artist's impression but I think it's going to be pretty close and I've got my order in because I'm looking forward to escaping from lockdown and getting out into the real world away from the nightmare of Zwift and writing my Wahoo book so why don't you get one and why don't you join me see you on the road take care and see you next time